I need to show you how this thing works. It looks pretty complicated, but it's not. You can't actually turn it. Yay, we're done. Okay, I lied. You can actually turn the corners, which seems a little bit useless, but if we turn all of the corners, now we can actually turn this thing. This is called the Polaris cube. Now, this cube is not very similar to a normal 3x3 cube because of the way it turns. Instead, it is actually more similar to a skew. Okay, we gotta turn all these again. <laughs> Looking at it like this will never not give me anxiety. When you do an actual turn on this, it will turn along this line here, and it turns the entire cube in half. It's not a cube. It turns the Polaris in... It turns the puzzle in half. And if I do twice and then three times, it comes back to normal. And that is just like a skew where it also turns in half and one, two, three turns goes back to normal. And since I have already s uh, attempted to solve a skew once, no spoilers here, I think that knowledge may help me in solving the Polaris cube. I'm going to start scrambling this. And the thing is, I actually cannot undo this because I don't think I can actually take it apart and put it back together solved. I have no clue how to take this apart or put it back together, so this is permanent. I'm going to have to actually figure out how to solve this thing, and that really scares me. Okay, I think this is pretty scrambled, and what I actually love about the Polaris cube is if I ever get too stressed, I can just turn it all back into cube shape and forget about my problems. It's almost like I've solved it. Okay, let's get to work. I just think of something I want to solve and try and solve it. And that is going to be uh, maybe a corner. What's my favorite corner? I like the white, green, red corner. You guys probably know that. I'm going to try and solve the three edge pieces around the white, green, red corner. So here's white, green. I need it over there. Oh, wait, that's kind of easy. I can actually turn it away, turn the corner and move it back. There we go. This one, same thing. I can just move it away and turn this corner so that when it comes back, it is in the right spot. And I need this one. This one is the green red. Uh, there it is. Okay, this one's, this one's a little trickier. So I'll probably want to turn this corner and what? Oh, this is, this is so weird to think about. Like, for some reason, I want to turn the star and that would put this right here, but that is not a possible move. Oh, there's another red green. There's two of the same one. That makes sense. This one is red on the left, so that wouldn't actually go here. I need this one over there. Okay, maybe that's why I was confused. Maybe it's because it's not even possible. All right, let's think about this one then. So this, uh, how do you even move it? Okay, it's moving with the corner. I don't want that. So I guess I'll get it out of that layer and I'll move it. Oh, it can go right there. That's great. Okay, so I just need to turn this and that was easy. Great, I got my white, red, green corner and it is between the white, green, yellow stars. So I, can I just move a star? Oh, I can. Okay, okay, like what is happening here? That piece shouldn't be there. Where does, where did it come from? Okay, it's supposed to be right there. Something messed up, and this piece needs to go back home. Come on, send this piece home. Well, that sucks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go in. Oh, that, that wasn't too hard. Okay, it's back, <laughs> we're back. Okay guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to reassemble this completely as solved and then scramble it again, because right now the way I've reassembled it may not be solvable and I don't want to risk it. So I've learned I need to be really careful with this thing. We now have a brand new scramble. New scramble, new me. I'm gonna figure this thing out. All right, I've made the white, red, green corner again, and let's get it between the white, red, green centers. So if I move the white star here, this corner goes away. How, what, how did I do this? I thought I did this earlier. Can I just move a star? Something messed up. All right, but this should be no problem. Um, I can get the white star here. I just need to then fix this edge as well. So I, if I move the edge away, I can then move it like that on this corner. Put the white star here so it can carry this edge back like that. All right, so then 
That is correct. And let's see if we can get the red center there. I honestly don't know if this is the thing I'm supposed to be doing. There we go. I've got that one corner correct. Um, I wonder if I can just solve this corner by corner. I got the white, red, green here. That means I'm gonna need the white. Okay, it's not white, red, yellow. That's not the center that's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be like that. So white, red, blue to match the color scheme it starts with. But I need the white, red, blue corner there. Um, this is so confusing. How do you even turn this thing? I've been turning it for a while, but I do not remember. Oh my God, this corner is not twisted. Okay, all right, I actually have a new idea. I have a theory that solving the edges is actually not gonna be that hard because we can always just rotate three edges around without turning anything else. In other words, the edges are the most isolatable piece. I, I don't know if that's a word. Basically, the edges are the easiest ones to move around without affecting anything else. Like if I wanna move a center, I'm moving half of all the pieces at once just to move one of these centers. And if I wanna move a corner, well, same thing. If I want this corner to go here, it's gonna move half of all the pieces. And if I wanna move the edges, it only affects two other edges and a corner. So the edges are the ones I should probably do last since they are the easiest ones to move around without affecting other stuff I've solved. If the edges go last and I solve the centers and corners first, what that means is I just have a skew to solve first. A skew is just centers and corner pieces, so this is just gonna be a skew for now if I ignore the edges. And do I know how to solve a skew? Well, I guess I will spoil it. Yes, I do know how to solve a skew, but I don't know if I completely remember how. So I'm gonna need the four white corners around the white center, and uh, I think this is already in the right spot. Wait, is that one in the right spot? Oh, this one's also in the right spot. Yeah, I can always just turn them to see if they look like they're in the right spots. But this one, oh, okay. Uh, this one's also correct. Did I just skip this entire step? Like all the corners are already in the right spot. I know you guys don't like it when I get lucky, so I'm gonna scramble it and actually try and solve this step because you guys are gonna say I cheated, which I didn't. I'm going to mess this thing up now. Okay, now the corners are definitely not in the right spot and I'm going to get them into the right spot. So here's the white center, here's a white piece. So this is orange blue and right there would be the other white piece. And so I need a white piece here. Pretty much if you can get a white piece into the, the spot, it's probably the right spot. That's why it ends up getting lucky all the time. But if you look at that, there, I've solved all the white corners, very easy. And boom, I've definitely solved the yellow corners as well because I remember that's just how it works on a skew. So I didn't get lucky, take that guys. I'm reading my comment section too much. Okay, now that all the corners are in the right spot, I need all the centers in the right spot, which was the second step on this cube. So uh, I don't remember how to do that. This is too hard for my brain to see which centers are in the right spot. White is in the right spot. Blue is in the right spot because it's got all the corners around it. But yellow and orange need to swap. Red and green need to swap. Uh, it was some algorithm. I know I had some algorithm that could swap these. Uh, I figured it out on this cube. I could refigure it out here, but I just want to do it. I don't want to think about it. I remember it's like, I hold it in some way and I do triple sexy move, which I don't remember how. So it was like this, this, and these two won't move if I do that. So that means I want white and blue there so that uh, they don't move because those, those are the correct ones. So this, this, and then back down and back this way. So that's one sexy move and I have to do that three times. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that this is the right place to do it. This is just an algorithm I remember from Skew. I could have figured it out again here, but uh, like I'm not gonna pretend I don't have information that I had before. So uh, we're just rolling with this. All right, what did that do? It solved the rest of the centers, nice. There we go, all the centers and all the corners are now in the right spot, which means I have solved the skew part of this, but not the edges part of it. And I think the edges should be done last, so we're gonna see if that theory holds up. Okay, let's start, of course, with the white, red, green edge. This white, red piece, um, I want right, red here. I can move it like this, and this does move all the centers around, but obviously I can just turn this to something else and move it back. All right, so all the centers are still in the right spot, but I've solved one piece. And that was easy, but I think the later ones are gonna be a bit tougher, so we're gonna see how this goes. This one, right there. I've solved this piece now, so I need this one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the last piece. 
Oh, wait, no. Okay, I, I, I can see how to do that. So there are two ways you can solve pieces. One is by putting it in the right spot and then moving it away like I was doing. The other way is to take the spot it belongs at and move the correct piece there. So take this spot away, move the correct piece there, and put it back like that. I am so privileged to know all the cubing knowledge I have because that just seemed so obvious to me. And if you don't do a lot of cubing, you probably thought that was just out of nowhere. This one's almost done. Uh, we need a red green here. Let's see if we can find that. Red on the left, green on the right. There we go. So it's this one needs to go here. What? Oh no, that's easy. Just that spot and that spot. Now they can turn like that, but I can't do that. Um, I need to do it the other way, which is uh, move the spot down, get this one in that spot, and then move the spot back up. Wow, okay, we've solved two pieces. How about the green side? I got two green pieces, so we need this one next. Okay, no, this is, no, this is still easy, still easy. Now we need yellow, green, uh, yellow, green, yellow, green. It is this one, so Oh, I have to do the other way. Um, when I was teaching Michelle Carey how to solve the cube, I actually taught her this as, it's called hit the target. So this is the target. You move the target over here and you take this, this thing, you hit the target and then you move it back. Nice, okay, I have the entire green layer done. I just have the other layer left to go. It has been smooth sailing up till now, but I feel like the fact that I have some solved is gonna make the rest of it tougher trying to preserve all of these, but I have a few tricks up my sleeve, so we'll see how I do. This is yellow blue that goes right here. Uh, like that. Wow, that just solved, okay. Wow, that solved, wait. Hang on, do these just solve themselves? Okay, you love to see it, but also that's, kind of lame. <laughs> uh, so we're not gonna solve this one because the, the, this piece needs a lot more solving. So this is yellow orange. It's gonna go right there. And this one goes to here. No way, no way. Am I, I'm done. Okay, let me just, let me just get this. Wow, the Polaris cube. Okay, we're not done here though, because going into this, I thought this was gonna be one of the hardest puzzles that I attempt. It turns out it wasn't that hard, and I'd like to thank all of my scube knowledge for helping me out here. So here's what we're gonna do next. Usually after solving a tough puzzle, I just end it there, but I think this one's easy enough that I can actually just time myself solving it. Okay, here is my scramble. Um, I scrambled for a long time, so it's probably a decent enough scramble, and I'm gonna solve around the white center. So here are two white pieces, they're done, and uh, this one goes here, and this one goes here. Okay, that's, that's all I can inspect. So we're gonna put that there, and this one, that. Okay, so there are my white pieces and yellow goes around the other side, that should be fine. Uh, looking for correct center pieces, not a single other one besides white. If I swap these two, nothing gets solved. And if I swap these two, only one of them gets solved. So that's good. I, I only wanna solve one extra one right now. Uh, that is like this. Once. <laughs> Just my skew algorithm, my stupidly long skew algorithm. Okay, twice. I should probably learn a better one, but whatever. This is just what I know. Three times. Okay, so these two need to swap, and these two need to swap. Oh my god, this is this confuses me every time. Like this, like this. Okay, left-handed version. Once and three times. Okay, now I need to undo that setup move, which was like this. All right, so red surrounded by four reds and blue surrounded by four blues, orange, green, yellow. Good, all the centers are correct. Now I need to start solving the other pieces. So let's solve this one. One of them's already done. I need this. No, this piece is fine. That's not even how it works. That piece doesn't move. Uh, this piece? All right, there we go. And just fix the centers. 
Oh, that just solved it, okay. And uh, let's just do more white. Maybe this white blue right here. So, um, white blue. Put it in. Turn it, take it out. That was the white red, so I can get it back in right now. And I need the red blue, not this one. Uh, this one. So that can, what? Oh, okay, it can go into this spot right here. That's the target. Um, go like, like this, move the target up, hit the target with the red blue, and then go back down. There we go, there's two pieces. That's, okay, I've solved four pieces. This is the easier part, if I remember correctly. They just solve themselves, basically. There is a fully solved piece. Uh-oh, this one's not solved. Oh, I know how I can do this. Wait. Yeah. I just do this over and over, I'm pretty sure. All right, this piece, so I wanna solve the yellow-orange part of it. What? Okay, <laughs> like this, and... Uh, then, lastly, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. This is the yellow-green, solve the yellow-green, and then... I am uh, not done. <laughs> uh, this last part, annoying. This is like Pyramix tips. Should not count as part of the solve. It is trivial. Whatever. Oh, six minutes, eight seconds. I got sub 609. I can be pretty happy with that. And that's probably something I could never say for the puppet cube.